All right, good people. Trying to figure out some things why it did not upload like I had it planned or scheduled to, but that is not a problem. We say good afternoon to you. Real simple. Uh, this is how we're going to do this. Voila. 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 Greetings Great and salutations. salutations. Again, Again, it's, it's another, another edition, edition of Bible, Bible study, study here at the Ancient Primitive Baptist, Baptist, Baptist Church, 1506 22nd Avenue, Avenue North Nashville, Nashville Tennessee, Tennessee, of course, of course representing, representing my Primitive, primitive Baptist, Baptist, glad to be Primitive, primitive Baptist, Baptist, glad to serve, serve in the offices, offices that, that I do that serve, serve in, in uh, giving, giving you this study, knowing that noon day was marvelous at 6 o'clock tonight, might be exceptional, grateful for the facilitators in both situations. On last week, we did a study at noonday dealing with the signs and wonders of Jesus Christ from the book of John. There are several, seven, excuse me, signs that Jesus uh, demonstrated to show that he was the Son of God. And one of those last, one of those signs was raising Lazarus from the dead. So today we want to talk about that from John, the 11th chapter have a PowerPoint presentation. I want you to see it raising John, raising from the dead, John 11, this PowerPoint, of course. Let me do this. Is um, one that is on the internet and then some sermon notebook.org material. So today we wanna to talk about raising Lazarus from the dead and what does that look like and how does that influence the writing of John. So before we even get into our icebreaker, this would be something um, that you want to look at as it relates to studying the Gospel of John, which is the Maverick Gospel, which is different from the Synoptics. It says, what are the seven signs in John's Gospel? What are they? You want to identify them. And how do these signs influence uh, the writing? Those are two questions. One is very elementary. The second one, of course, you're going to have to have uh, some type of synthesis attached to the answer. So raising John, here, those are your two questions. Those need to be answered. Let's look at this particular uh, PowerPoint presentation. Boom. Love the fact that this is not the first time that Jesus was raised from the dead. Or raise someone from the dead, Mark 5, 35 through 43, and then Luke 7, 17, 11 through 17, and thank God for this PowerPoint presentation. So those that's your comparison activity. So now you have two activities. You have your comparison activity, and you have your questions. You've already engaged your audience in thinking. Remember, you are the teacher or the facilitator. It's your job to facilitate linking and learning. So let's go back to that particular slide. This is not the first time. Compare those two. Next slide. Boom. What makes the raising of Lazarus different from others? John eleven seventeen. It's very interesting in this passage. It's different from others. Once again, this PowerPoint presentation is in some sermon notebook and sermon uh, PowerPoint presentations, and you can find these on the internet. But just want to show you ways to add to your lesson or lessons. Boom. Let me do that. It says the historical context of John 11 and 12. The religious hierarchy of Jesus' day at that time was dominated by the Sadducees. And we find in the book of Matthew, we find in the Gospels, the Pharisees and Sadducees. And one of the things you want to do also, if you had the time, was to just delineate or make the difference between a Pharisee and a Sadducee. They denied the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So Lazarus getting up, totally denied it. The raising of Lazarus represents a testimony of the resurrection, both Christ and the universal res resurrection, as well as our Lord and Savior's victory over death. 
So some put some things in context. You do not ever want to study things out of context. And having this in your life will help bring you to uh, a great understanding, if you will allow me to say, what the historical context is around Lazarus and how it plays a vital role in today's lesson. Let me see. What else can we learn about the Sadducees? They rejected the oral tradition that the Pharisees held to. They believed that the only five books of the Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy were authoritative. More about the Sadducees. Pharisees, doing your comparison, lived in the resurrection of the dead and the angels and the spirits. They rejected such beliefs. The Pharisees believed they were righteous because of their good works and thus fair, you see. So you have a lot of information based upon the Sadducees and Pharisees and you want to be able to, you know, separate the two camps or cat and put them in their own categories as it relates to instruction. You know, so you have a lot of things that you've already, that are already taken place in this lesson. One being your question that's continuing to that's scrolling on the bottom of the screen. Compare, contrast the different resurrection or resuscitation events in the life of Jesus Christ. There are three. One in Luke, one in Mark, of course, one in John. Now you have the Pharisees and the Sadducees. What would you like to do with them? I'm grateful for that. Yes, totally grateful. So if you haven't had the time, please do so. What are the signs in John's gospel? How do these signs influence the writing? How do you compare and contrast the different resurrection events that happened in the life of Jesus in Mark's gospel, in Luke's gospel, and now in John's gospel? Compare them, contrast them. You have activity. And guess what? When I see you again, I'm going to ask what you actually done to make sure these things were completed. Because again, you're going to facilitate learning in the life of the believers. Then thirdly, you have the Pharisees and Sadducees. What made them different? Where did they veer off? You know, how did each rise to power? There's so much information you can grasp from this particular lesson. All right. <clears throat> now, instructional strategy. And then I'm going to do this and then we'll be done. I want you to know, now what? Doing, I hear what, now what, so what? Now, now what? Here's what, excuse me. Here's what, so what, now what strategy? John chapter 11. Now, what would you like to learn from this? What do you need to change or address? What you, would you like to learn about this? And then your application. That's your now what activity. Mm -hmm. So this is the working from the latter to the former. What would you like to learn from this? From this particular story. What do you need to address or change? What do you need to learn about this? And then in this application. What is the applications behind this? Oh, this is awesome, y'all. Then, so what? What did you feel? What thoughts do you have? What conclusions? What did you learn about you as you read this? Here's what. What was the problem? What did you notice? Of course, what did you learn? What's surprising about this passage? John chapter number 11. I'm excited about it. Let's get into it. You have plet a plethora of things to do already. Compare and contrast the resurrection events in Jesus' life. Compare and contrast the Pharisees and Sadducees. You have everything in context. You have your questions scrolling on the bottom. Here's what, now what. Here's what, so what. Now what. Oh man, loving it loving it so john chapter 11 now there was a certain man who was ill english standing the virgin john chapter 11 of course he dies 
go to verse 17. Jesus came and found that Lazarus has already been dead for four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews came to Mary and Martha to console them concerning their brother. We know the story. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she met him. Mary remained seated. <laughs> Stillness. Your brother will rise again, I know. All right, folks, you have several activities. You're watching me live. So I'm looking at you live. You're looking at me live. Those activities, those questions, where are you in this instructional activity? Like, where are you? Have you answered that question scrolling at the bottom? Are you ready to do your here's what, so what, now what activity? That's all you're doing. Once you learn how critical it is to complete that activity, I promise you, facilitating a lesson a bible study simple as pie but of course you have to practice it so i'm going back to the video that you're watching tell me exactly what you're doing right now are you answering the question what are the seven signs can you tell me the seven signs in john's gospel be able to do that what are the seven signs know the seven signs secondly how did those signs influence the writing? Remember, that's more higher level. You're going to have to have a synthesis, a thesis. You're going to have to flesh that thing out. How that actually influenced the writing. With that being said, now let's get into our activity. John the 11th chapter. I'm out your way. Peace and blessings. Jesus, Jesus gives, gives the tone. The tone. I am the I resurrection, resurrection of life. life. Who will believe in me though he die, he shall live again. Show me where you laid it. Go through that passage. Here's what. What is the problem that you see? And I know I read it fast and I should not have read it that fast or with that fluidity. What is the problem? You tell me your problem. My problem is several things. And based upon what your problem is in this passage, then you can start developing your lesson. Then you have your, what did you notice? What did you learn? What is surprising? Answer those four. You don't have to answer them all at one time because that might be difficult. But my problem is this. And it's not a bad problem. But my problem is Miracles when experienced push us or force us to wait on God beyond our human limitation. Miracles when experienced push us to wait and rely on God beyond our human limits, limitations. That's a problem. In order to experience this type of minute miracle and ministry, you must wait on God beyond your own limitations. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. You tell me your problem. What did you notice? <laughs> I noticed that Jesus did not allow the pressure of a need to move him too soon. Jesus didn't allow the pressure of this need to move him too soon. I learned, I learned that Christ still has the ultimate in dead situation. What surprises me is the fact that Mary stayed still when Martha moved. So those are the things, those are my problems, what I noticed, what I learned, what, what, what surprised, surprised me. me. Can you tell, tell me what you noticed? noticed? What, what you learned? All right, what did you notice, Palms? <laughs> what is your problem since you're actively engaged? We want to reward you openly, openly, whoever else is on. What is the problem that you see in that text? 
what is something that you noticed going back to the banner yeah this is what I'm going to do what is something that you noticed what is something that you learned and what is something that's surprising it's me live I'm in person palms what's your problem here's what now what so what you want to be able to do this this is something that you want to be able to do so here's what boom let's go here what is the problem and everybody can come up with a different problem your problem is what today my problem in this text is this is my problem this is what I noticed this is what I learned this is where I'm surprised you need to answer that right now from the raising of Lazarus known as one of the seven signs of John's gospel and every problem is not a bad one but what is your problem as a facilitator now you have a right to ask the class we are collecting data here is the problem in this passage I kind of gave you mine I'm not gonna go back I want y'all to list y'all's what did you notice what have you learned what about this passage and what surprised you so we'll go back what is your problem what did you notice what is, have you learned where are you surprised what was your problem? That's, that's, here's here's what. That's, that's how you do it. And as and you, as you already see, see, there are there four, four activities, activities that you do just in the here's what. That's, that's why, why every, every text, text will yield, yield such a plethora of understanding. <laughs> so, so what? Let's go back. Ah. Put that, put that up, up here. here before, before we even get into, into our, our soul. soul. All right, next activity has begun. Of course, you've done that now. What is your problem? My problem is what did I see? What did I notice? <laughs> what did I learn? What was surprising in John 11 with those particular that particular passage? You have to do that. That helps you just step into the text and now become a learner. Now that I've identified what the problem is, or you don't have to start there, remember. What did I notice? What did I learn? What was surprising? There are so many ways to start this lesson off. And you have Mary, Martha, Lazarus, Jesus, disciples. You have five different personalities. And within that fifth one, the disciples, you have many. So now you can do a whole nother instructional activity uh, with just this particular passage. And you want to be able, especially with a younger audience, to talk about the climax and the resolution and some of the literary devices that we've learned to have them explore the text and make the text more meaningful. So whoever's on, say good afternoon. And remember, you can answer those questions. You have to answer those questions. If you don't answer those questions, you do not make learning as meaningful as you possibly can. So here's what. Everybody type in the chat, here is what. And we're going back to our lesson. And again, I say thank you. Thomas, Jake Thomas, what's going on, sir? Good to see you, coach. Are y'all on fall break getting ready for a football game? I'm live, but you're seeing the video that's been previously recorded. So here's what. Here is what. Here is what. Yeah, here is what. Go back and do your here's what. Go back and do it. What is the problem of the text? What did you notice in the text? That's another question. Number three. Let me just post it. I don't know, Thomas, where you got on. But let me go back and post it on here's what. People got to do this. Boom. What is the problem? What did you notice? What did you learn? What's surprising? If you answer those four questions, at least with all five personalities, Jesus, Mary, Martha, Lazarus, the disciples, you have six months of preaching and teaching right there. So here's what. Let me get back to my teaching 
parts. Jake Thomas, I'm going to give you a call as soon as this is over, sir. Thank you, man, for being on. Thank you. Thank you. Man's store or cultural context in John and Antonio. Know the context. A free text. A text without a free text and a post text will always be taken out of context. So the religious hierarchy of the Jews at this time was dominated by the Sadducees. Who denied, who denied the resurrection, the resurrection and rise of Lazarus, Lazarus represents the testimony of resurrection. resurrection. Both, Both Christ, Christ and the universal, universal resurrection, resurrection, as well as all of our Lord and Savior's over death. death. Now we now know the context. context. Got the context. context. Now we've now done, done our ears for it. Now, now it's time, time to do our soul work. So what? So what? What do you feel? What thoughts? So for, so those, for those teaching, teaching uh, the uh, younger, younger, younger group, this will be a great time, time for emotions, emotions, just emotions, emotions, just emotions, just, just, emotions, emotions, just a room full of emotions. emotions. Show, Show their feelings. Their feelings. What, thoughts? what thoughts? What conclusions do you draw? And what did, and what you, did learn you learn about, about you? you? Here's, Here's the thing, the thing I, learned I learned about me. All the times I'm impatient and do not want, and I want to push God. When, when I run, run out, out of, of options, options and ideas. That's what I want to do. That's what I learned about, about me. me. So tell, tell me, me, what did, what you, did feel? you feel? What are your, what are your thoughts? thoughts? What, what conclusions? What did you what did learn you about you? Finally, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, going back to the third activity. activity. Now, now what? what? I got to go back to this one, y'all, because I like it. Probably out of out of the three, I like the so what activity. What do you feel? Tell me exactly what is it that you feel in that moment when reading the text, knowing that you're dealing with Jesus, Mary, Martha, Lazarus, and the disciples. What do you feel after completing your here's what? What do you now feel? I feel what exactly? This is what I feel. This is how I feel. I feel sad and I feel sick and I feel it. I'm anxiety. What feeling is created and what tension does that feeling bring to your understanding of the text? Then what are your thoughts? Do you think like Mary and Martha? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Mm. Devin Palms is on it. Palm said it's a contrast of position. A text says the disciples were in the left, were left in the world, but not of the world. Yeah, but I think I have an idea of what it means. But my issue concerns is the conformity of the different positions. <laughs> tension, sir. That's tension. That's tension. That's tension. That is tension. That's tension. That's good tension to be in, though. That is really good tension to be in. And thank you. So you answering that, here's what. Now you're moving to the so what. What do you feel? What are your thoughts? You've expressed your thoughts. What are some of the conclusions you ready to draw about yourself and this passage? And then what did you learn? I learned what again. So the, this instructional activity is phenomenal if used appropriately. So I said, let me do this and teach it in this fashion so that individuals can see how to use these instructional activities to the best of their abil our ability so that intentionality and learning can truly take place. And then I got some problems. I got a whole other question on leadership based around this passage, which we'll teach later. All right, let's get back into our broadcast. What, 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 what would you what like, would you to, like learn to learn from this? From this. From this. From this. From the, From the raising, raising of, Lazarus. of Lazarus. What do you, what need, do you to need to change or address? address? I need to, I need to change, change and address. address. I need to address, need to address my, address my patience. patience. I need to change, need to, change to become a more patient, patient person. person. I've, I've learned, learned so many, so many things, things about, about this. this. And I will and apply, apply this to life and leadership. leadership. 
I will I'll gladly, gladly stay. stay. Have to, have to learn, learn to wait, to wait on, on God in situations, in situations where I don't, I don't have control. control. I will gladly live everywhere, everywhere in my leadership, leadership, in my lifestyle, in, my lifestyle, in, everything, in everything, everything that I do. That I do. But that's but your that's now, your now what? what? So now so you now know, you know how, how robust, robust the here's what. Is what. So, so what now, now, now what is? You know you it. Know it. You know why, you know why I use it all because, because you, you, it never, it gets, never old. gets old. And when you, when you get to class and all of it, it, you see, you see the, the jewel and the richness, richness from, it. from it. So, so here's, here's what, what? Now, now what? what? Here's, here's what? what? So, so what? what? Now, now I apologize. I apologize. Let me hide. Let me Let hide. hide. Let me hide that. Any questions, Any questions from me? Any questions? questions? John, John 11, 11 chapter, chapter 7, seven times. Time. Have, Have you answered, answered your, question? your question? Please, Please do. do. And then, and then go to your stop, stop bike. bike. What are you going to stop, stop doing? doing? What are you going to keep, keep doing? doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you going to start, start, start doing? doing? And remember, and remember the powerful, powerful presentation. presentation. There's one, one that's in this uh, uh, sermon's, sermons no, no. Book, book that I, that I have, have in uh, my, my logo. logo. All right, y'all, we're done. Thank you for this afternoon's Bible study. Of course, I did not give you a lot of information, and that was not the uh, total, let me say, outcome. I wanted to give you the activity and let you do. The outcome was to let you do, let you come in. Hello, Sherry, how are you doing? Sherry, share the video. Everybody like and share the video. So Devin Palms, now you know when you take that one activity and one informational text and everybody that was here uh, to engage in this activity, you see how that one activity can be an hour and a half lesson. If you just walk through all of those questions, the here's what, the so what, and the now what, based upon this passage, and we know what the, the now what are, or the now what's are, uh, let me go back to my banners. What would you like to learn from this? What am I going to learn? What do I like? I would like to learn this from this. What do I learn about this? So the other one would just learn. Now I'm moving my learning to a, a whole nother place intentionally. What did I learn about this or from this? What do I need to change or address? What are the applications for my life based upon these signs? Devin Palms comes back and says, Palms, you got a whole lot, Doc. <laughs> That's a good thing. You working, Doc. So Romans 12 declares that we should not conform to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of our mind that we should. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. So if God left us here to be of the world, then our position is to walk in the holiness of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good answer. And we do that even in even in the walking in the holiness of God, using Lazarus as a backdrop, we are doing this knowing that Jesus had to speak to a dead state, the state of mind that Lazarus was in. And like I said, Doc, we, we really got something to wrestle out about right there. Well, y'all, I'm out of talk. No, I'm not. I'm just out of time. Thank you for tuning in to Bible study. Just giving you some ideas on how to teach. Now, I need you. I need you to sit down with friends, family alike, and go over these activities using a text or this text and watch how rich the conversation will become. And remember this, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Thank you for Bible study here at the Ephesian Primitive Baptist Church, 1506 22nd Avenue North, Nashville, Tennessee. Do me a favor, like and share the video and put it in as many groups as possible because these instructional strategies will definitely encourage and equip people as they move into uh, maturity. Yeah, you can post a question. Post a question, Reverend.
can you post the questions? Yes, you can. Yeah, doc, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. I'm looking at something. Let's talk. What's your question? Yeah. Yeah, can you post the Oh, can I post the I'm looking, man, post the questions. Palms, I'm sorry. Let me go back. Palms, my bad. Let's do now what? That's now what? That's the now what? I thought you said, can you post? That's the now what questions. What would you like to learn from this? What do you need to change or address? What would you what did you learn about this? What are the applications? <laughs> uh oh. That's the now what poems. That's the now what. And then I'll send it to you. Then you go from now what. That's the last one. Uh, to so what. What do you feel? Remember, your feelings and thoughts sometimes are not the same, nor are they aligned. So, yeah. So, anyway. <clears throat> questions have to be answered. This is just one of the things, remember, it's not so, me, so much me giving you information, but me giving you the tools so that you can develop, you can dig for yourself. And I promise you, once you dig for yourself, teaching, facilitating, with this activity will never be a problem again because every text you read from this moment on every text you read newspaper magazine and instagram a post you can take this one strategy and just work through an informational text and i promise you it will yield a, a plethora of things that you can use in conversation and character and in conduct until next week it's been a marvelous rich and instructional day for me and y'all keep praying my strength in the Lord as I finish some activities. And I tell y'all the greatness that God has in store for us. Peace and blessings.